Hi, this is Rashawn McDonald. You know that. This is my show, Money Making Conversations. Each Money Making Conversation show is really about you. It's really about the information I try to give you. It's about entrepreneurship and entertainment. I provide the consumer and business owner access to celebrities, CEOs, industry decision makers, and entrepreneurs. It is important to understand that everybody travels a different path to success. That is because your brand is different. The challenges you face in your life are different. So stop reading other people's success stories and start writing your own. Now, you can be motivated by their success because their stories can offer direction and help you reach your goals through your planning and committed effort. My guests on Money Making Conversations have that same passion, and they share that information when we talk about their career, motivation, what they are promoting, how they live a balanced life, and their secrets to success. Again, Money Making Conversations. My next guest is going to talk about his New York City's destination for mind, body, spirit transformation. Again, mind, body, spirit transformation. He is a celebrity fitness trainer, ordained minister, former ballet dancer, wellness expert, motivational speaker, founder, owner of Brace Life Studios, and founder of the 28-Day Challenge Wellness Program. He is known in the fitness community as the Mind, Body, Soul Connector. He has been seen on Good Morning America, The View, The Food Network, Shape Magazine, Self Magazine, New York Daily News, Bloomberg Business Week, and BET.com. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation for the very first time, Mr. Robert Brace. Oh, uh, hey, Sean. Thank you for having me on. As a lady out there, man, you got a lot of things going on in your life, man. That's what the credits are all about, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been busy, but it's been good. God, it's been good for sure. Okay, uh, got to give us the background on the accent. Okay, I am originally from London, England, and I uh, moved to New York uh, in my 20s uh, to be a professional ballet and modern dancer. So... Uh, that's where that's where the accent comes from. <laughs> now I was reading your bio. It said a soloist ballet dancer. Yes, I was a soloist at the Metropolitan Opera Ballet. Um, I, that was one of the things I did during my career. I, I actually came on scholarship to the Alvin Ailey School, right? Uh, just for the summer. I was supposed to go back to England, and uh, I just never made it back. I've been here ever since. So, um, uh, so yeah. Well, you know, the I, I reason I brought that up, soloist, you know, that you have to by yourself. That means that you're no slouch. You have to have your skill game together. Oh, for sure. Well, yeah, yeah. coming to New York, you, you have to. <laughs> I mean, New York, is a, New York is a beast. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, to, to compete here and especially to come from another country, you got to be serious about your game. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was good. I had a good time performing in New York. Well, great. Uh, New York is one of my favorite cities. It was the funny story I want to share with you. I was in New York uh, yesterday uh, being interviewed by London Real, my man Brian Rose. He was in town. Uh-huh. And uh, he was doing an interview on one, uh, 102 Mulberry Street. And I realized oh, that you're... I said, well, I said uh, now, you know, I do all my, my research and I looked up and I went, I think Robert, Robert Price is on the street at 132. So I roll down to 132. You're right above Umberto's Clam House. Yeah. Uh, uh, sweet 2E. <laughs> walked up the stairs. You one level. Knocked on the door. Ring, rung the bell a couple of times. You know, didn't want to be oh, banging, no. banging, banging, banging. And I said, okay. <laughs> I was up surprised it with a good story that I, oh, you know, that's how I am, man. I I'm, I, I try to really oh. relate to the people who come on my show if I have time to, to go by and shake oh. their hands and say hi. That's all I was doing yesterday. Oh. Uh, Awesome, man. Next time you're in town, you gotta stop by, man. That that, that would have been great. <laughs> well, like I said, it was impromptu because of the fact that yeah. uh, my original interview was at one, and then it was that big parade that was going on in that area yesterday, uh, and they pushed it down to three o'clock so they can avoid the noise, and that allowed me to really sit down and research where I was at, and I just noticed your address, and I went, I got at least, I got at least tell him I came by at least, <laughs> even if I don't That's see him. Awesome. Now, now, why did you choose your studio location at uh, 132 Mulberry Street, Unit 2E? You said, yes, uh, 132 Mulberry Street, uh, uh, number 2E. You said, why did I choose that location? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, well, we originally were in Soho, and I had two partners. And um, the gr- great people, but their, their business was more Pilates, and it wasn't really, uh, really aligned with what we were doing. And... Um, we came to the end of our lease. Now, one of the things that's unique about our business, uh, which we're very proud of, we train all, everybody's welcome, we're inclusive. Right. But we have a very strong uh, 
um, African American high performing female clientele. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we, you know, we'll get into it in a bit. I imagine that we're about the mind, body, and soul combining Absolutely. all three. Absolutely. So, with my career as a dancer, and then um, I was also. Uh, a minister in Harlem mm-hmm. uh, for six years is where, where I met my wife. I wanted a space where we could explore how to connect mind, body, and soul in a place that um, especially uh, black women, women of color could feel safe. Right. And, um, you know, uh, Nolita is a great location. People can get to it from anywhere, um, our, our specific location. And, um, you know, and more practically, it was one of the only spaces in New York that already had the soundproofing um, mm. Mm. Uh, already built in. So I saved uh, quite a, a bit of money doing that. <laughs> but, uh, but that was it. That was it. Now, you, you're saying something interesting. You say, well, women of color can feel safe. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Well, listen, um, a few things. One, I'll tell the story. Um, Deborah Lee, uh, who's, you know, former CEO of BET, she invited me to do a, uh, a wellness workshop. She has this uh, conference called Leading Women Defined. It's uh, 150 of the highest profile women in business and entertainment and philanthropy. So right. um, we, we went out there and uh, I did a workshop, which was uh, fitness, but there was also meditation. There was also affirmations. Um, it was very spiritual as well. And in that... Um, in that workshop, we had I had people coming up to me um, uh, crying and saying, thank you so much uh, for seeing us. Thank you so much for thinking about us. And then when I go to events, we have different corporate partners. We have uh, partners with the Athletic Store. We've done stuff with Reebok, Lemon Lemon. And um, again, women coming up and saying, you know, we don't have a place that we can go that celebrates us. That celebrates right. our connection, uh, our, who we are, um, where our bodies, we don't have to feel like we are other. And, um, and so for me, it's, um, it's just a badge of honor to be able to support uh, black women. Um, and look, we have an incredible clientele. Like I said, Deborah Lee, uh, Angela Rye, June Ambrose. Um, we have all of these fantastic women, Lisa Price, our yes. Carol's daughter. And so if, don't forget uh, Deja Vu, my girl at WBLS, Deja no, Vu. Oh, no, Deja Vu. Deja Vu's been with us from day one. Yes. That, when that, uh, that. we had no gym, we, had, we, we were just in, you know, renting out spaces. Deja Vu is awesome. Yeah. Um, so shout out to her. Um, she's doing awesome things as well. But, um, but yeah, we, um, they felt like they wanted a community that celebrated them. And we even created a book. Uh, called the Magic, which celebrates the wellness journeys of, of Black women, mm-hmm. and um, and so yeah, that's that's a badge of honor for us. Look, I'm married to a beautiful Black woman. I've mm-hmm. got two beautiful Black daughters. My <laughs> wife is also an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. um, and so I see daily uh, the struggle uh, that she goes with in yes. terms of um, uh, doing doing what she needs to do out there with her business, but mm-hmm. also managing her stress levels and right. all of that. So mm-hmm. I'm surrounded by it. Right. So uh, it, it's just, you know, something I'm very passionate about. Well, you should stay that way. I have six sisters, so I uh, I feel oh. and, uh, and can relate to being able to, uh, their pain. Their, their pain as women, mm-hmm. their pain as African-American or black women is a different mm-hmm. experience, and it should be understood as a different experience. It should be understood it needs to be communicated differently, handled differently, and realize that their challenges uh, should be recognized and also appreciated mm-hmm. their efforts to overcome those challenges. And, uh, Absolutely. and that's part of the whole mind, body, and soul connector, you know, that you have that, that that's your moniker, known in the fitness community as the mind, body, soul connector. Talk about that. Yes. Well, I think when it comes to mind, body, and soul, it can almost seem ethereal, like you, you can't put your finger on exactly what it is. Right. And so I think it's really important to clearly define it for people and make the connection. And so what, what I mean in the most basic form is this. You know, I, like I said, I have a, a church background. And when you think of any kind of faith-based organization, um, or doesn't have to be an organization, any spiritual part, right, what people are typically looking for is uh, spiritual qualities like joy, like peace, a sense of control over their life a sense of control over their mind and clear thinking. And so we, we go to these, uh, go to on the spiritual path in search of these qualities. 
Right. What I found when I was dancing and when I started to move is that I would I would be feeling these things, but I just thought it was because I was enjoying my dance career or living my life. <laughs> mm-hmm. But once you really connect with movement, you start to understand that when you move, your body produces serotonin. Serotonin is known as the joy hormone because it uh, produces joy. So if you've ever had a workout and you come out feeling great about yourself, that's the serotonin one. Endorphins are also produced when you work out. And endorphins are known to give you a sense of calm and peace and actually relieve the symptoms of uh, depression and anxiety as much as prescription meditation. So you move your body, you you work out, you get joy, you get peace. Exercise gives you a, a, um, gives increases the prioritizing function of your brain. So if you are prone to eating too much, shopping too much, whatever too much, and you need a sense of control over your life and your decisions, exercise does that for you. It gives you and also more oxygen to the brain so you can think more clearly after go on. But those qualities of joy, of peace, a sense of control, clear thinking can all be accessed through the temple of your body. And um, what we try to do in, in our workouts is everything from when you walk in, uh, the energy-producing drink that you're given, the workout that you're given where you're connecting with other people, increasing that sense of joy, love, and connection. Right. We meditate at the end of every single workout. Mm. Um, the juices we give at the end are to give you that sense of control over your appetite and, um, and a sense of calm over your well-being. So... Um, even at the end of each session, we meditate, uh, we give uh, our clients cooling eye gel masks to help calm their spirit, they get uh, chilled. Oh, you know, I like the fact time. that, can I just tell you this, uh, Robert, that whole meditating thing I think is important, because I'm a guy, I'm just talking about me right. right now, and I know you're dealing with women of color, but, you know, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm so hyper in the sense of I, I got to go, I'm tied to time, I wake up at the same time every day, that mm. to me really calms you you know i think that's the de-stressor in your whole process is telling you hey don't run out that door let's let's right. relax let's 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 bring all that down and let's think about where you are that's the that's the soul connecting part of it is it oh absolutely absolutely and and what you just said is absolutely correct is helping people understand it's okay to slow down for five uh to ten minutes to meditate get your breathing right focus your mind um, because, you know, people uh, many times say, well, I don't know how to meditate. I can't do it. And what we have is more of a guided meditation, so it helps you through. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it's so important to stop, take a moment, and be present. Wow. Um, I agree. So, and that's what, yeah, that's I what agree. we try to give our clients. Because, you know, it's important that uh, you know, we all want to be successful. We all want to drive. And, and New York is already everybody says it's in high stress. It's a high stress city. You know, people push you right. around. It's crowded. You have traffic. You know, you can eat on the street. You can eat, you know, there's so many different layers of movement, so many ethnic groups just, just keeps crossing as you cross the street. You can be amongst mm-hmm. five or six different ethnic groups. And so right. when you when you speak in different languages as well. And so when you're dealing with that level of stress, I, you know, I get up in the morning at like four o'clock and I, 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 I think I'm going to incorporate what you're talking about more so because I do that. I kind of go downstairs in my, my room, I stretch and, and, but I turn on the TV. I think I'm going to turn off the TV and then just mm-hmm. start talking to myself more and just, uh, just get myself re- more and more focused for the day because that's good advice that you're giving to everybody and, and mm-hmm. it's relatable to everybody. Slow it down. Think about what your yeah. day is. Think about what you've just accomplished in life. Appreciate who you are. Appreciate your surroundings. Connect with your body and feel good about the opportunities that this day has given you that you're being blessed with. That's the that's the that's the minister side of you that comes in and and moves us forward, which is awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. I think the first hour of your day and the last hour of your day are, are very important. Well, guess um, what. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm loving this interview, my friend. I'm talking to Robert Brace, my man. He's the uh, mindy, Mind, Body, Soul Connector. We'll be right back with more and talk about his 28-day challenge wellness program that he has started and talk about the influences that are tied to that program. Again, we'll be back with more with my man, Robert Brace. We'll be right back with more from Rashawn McDonald and Money Making Conversations. Don't touch that dial. Money Making Conversations continues online at www.moneymakingconversations.com. 
and follow Money Making Conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time you stop thinking about your dreams and put some plans into action. Known the Fong is former ballet dancer turned celebrity trainer. He is known as the mind, body, soul connector of New York City. He's a celebrity fitness trainer and television personality. He has coming up what I call a very uh, a, a program. We know it's the first quarter. People always talk about, I got a resolution. I want to change my life, whether it's weight or gain or dating or habits they feel they need to break. And it's always good to capture people when they have that mindset that they want to create change. Isn't that correct, Robert? <laughs> Oh, that is absolutely correct. You know, this is the time of the year when everybody's thinking about that change <laughs> and uh, excited about it. And so um, I think if we can just harness that feeling so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't peter out by the end of the month, um, then we can do some good things in 2020. Well, talk, talk about this 28 days of workouts for my 28-day challenge program that you created. Okay, so first of all, the original 28-day challenge uh, was created. I, I had a friend of mine who was uh, is a comedic filmmaker. He wanted to make, he saw all of these uh, magazine articles where they said you can get six-pack abs in 30 days, right? right so he comes right, to me and right. says, I want to do a, a video where, um, and I want to see if this can actually happen. So we went at it, I took on the challenge, and instead of 30 days, we totally transformed his body in 28 days. And so uh, that was in 2011, and at the time, we got close to a million views on that video. And so people started to seek me out and my team for to do the 28-day challenge. So we've been doing that for years, and then as I transitioned more into mind, body, and soul, um, that 28-day challenge now includes um, the meditations, the affirmations, and also... Um, mindset, uh, mindset makeover points, which are little motivational stories from my training experience, from my life, um, that help you kind of see fitness in a different way. And so what we're doing at the beginning of the year is if anybody goes to my uh, Instagram, which is uh, uh, at Robert Brace, B-R-A-C-E, and you hit the link in the bio, you will get 28 days of workouts for my 28-day challenge program, 28 days of guided meditations with affirmations to relieve stress, find peace, and set your intentions for the year, as well as uh, 28 days of the wellness, motivation, tips, and insight from my personal life, right? And we're also doing in-studio events, which we live stream with some of your favorite influencers. Uh, we just did one with Lewis Cross, who is the, the first plus-size model winner on Project Runway. Um, and so it's a lot of uh, complimentary free content that you get. It's just to give you everything you need for a complete mind, body, and soul transformation, um, including everything that we do in our 28-day challenge. So we now, just well, let me ask you this, Robert. People up, Before you add, what ahead. exactly, because, you know, you did this in 2011. What exactly mm -hmm. is... Uh, that what what did you do? What were you, 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 did you change the food eating habits? Or was it specific oh, things yes. you worked on in that twenty eight day period? <laughs> Are you still using the same technique? Or I know you've said you've added the the the, the meditation and the uh, the conditioning mm -hmm. and all that. What was that original challenge about? Well, the original challenge, yes, it's food and it's. Uh, exercise. The background to that story is when I was dancing, I started dance late. My dance career, I started at 15, and um, I was lucky enough to get into a program because I was still athletic and I had some flexibility, but uh, part of that is I was on an accelerated program, and um, it was great, but some of it, they didn't really teach me proper technique. Mm. So I ended up, um, I was always getting injured, and then there was one day I was in a, in a men's class where they're doing the big tricks, um, and uh, you're doing all these jumps and turning in the air, and I came down from a jump, and I heard a crack in my back. Your back? And um, Yeah, in my back. I'd, and I developed a terrible back injury. I couldn't walk. I couldn't move my neck forward or back. And the school at that time, because I was on scholarship, said, if you, didn't, if you don't heal, um, you're going to lose your scholarship. Mm. And all I wanted to do at that time was dance. And, and so I dedicated that summer um, six weeks to coming into the studio and my job was to heal my body, deconstruct movement, strengthen it, make it more flexible so that I can be exactly what I needed to be to gain my uh, scholarship back, but also to be the best dancer I could be. Right. Now, the side effect of that was I transferred, I mean, I came out and I was, my abs were ripped, my body was ripped. And Got that core right, got that core right, huh? <laughs> 
Oh, that call was, I mean, it was intense. <laughs> and so those principles are what I moved over into the 28-day challenge. Not that anybody's doing dance, but the principles of how I deconstruct movement, how we have a very serious attention to form, engaging the right muscles, and a very detailed um, assessment of how we use the body is what I, I took that philosophy and transferred it into uh, weight training, resistance training that anybody can do. And that's how um, we came about with the 28-day challenge physical format. And then we have different meal plans that meet different people's needs. Um, so that's, that's the story of how, you know, the 28 day challenge was formed. It was probably the scare, one of the scariest uh, times in my life, but, um, you know, that turns your mess into a message. So, um, that's what we're using now. But you know, the thing about it is that sometimes uh, the, the best moments happen when you walk through fear and like I said, yeah. uh, Fear and scary, being uh, being afraid and overcoming that, and not being not being pushed back. Because, like you said, you were challenged by the fact physically. If you don't if you don't get it, get yourself physically right, you could lose your scholarship. Out of that mm -hmm. result became what, what we can we won't say we, we can use the word your perfect body. Your core was right, you were tight, and then led you to this whole this whole system that you have now, which is the basis of your brand. Yeah, that, that's exactly it. Wow, that's exactly it. So when, all, when you, so, so, so when you talk about all these different uh, formats, you know, because I'm talking about the 28 day workout program, then you, what is the 2020 Resole Solution? Is that still part of the 28 day so, challenge? Yes. Yeah, so the 28 day resolutions um, is a little bit about what I described earlier. Yes, sir. Um, setting your intentions for the year, right? So instead of just resolutions, right? We want to. Uh, you to have resolutions. We want to go a little deeper. Reset your body, uh, refocus your mind, and refresh your soul. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, with that, you get all of the physical part of the twenty-eight day challenge that I just described. Right. But you get the guided meditations that will um, focus your heart, your spirit, your mind, as well as the affirmations and wellness tips. We're all about changing the perspective of how people uh, see their bodies. You know, you hear the phrase. Um, uh, your body is your temple, right? Mm -hmm. And yes, we we have been we've got a proven track record of changing bodies really quickly. But the interesting thing about that phrase is that when you think of a temple, um, it's beautiful on the outside and and it's, it's ornate. But a temple is not a temple without the worship and the self discovery that goes on inside that temple, right? Right. And so what we're focused on is helping you access the best qualities of yourself, the self-discovery that's going to lead you to greatness, um, all of your divine given gifts, focusing on that and letting that be the reason why you work on the outside of your temple, right? Because right. we want the outside to reflect all of the beauty, the glory, and the divinity, divinity that's inside. And so I think once we take away... Um, once we help people focus inwards, because for us it's not just about working out, it's about working in. And once we help people focus inwards, typically they feel better about themselves, their motivation is right, and um, they're able to get great results, but not just get great results, but to live a lifestyle of healthy living. It's really, and it's really what great. Our mission is. This is really great. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's go back to this, because I want to make sure that people take advantage of what you, why I have you on the show, mm -hmm. the in-studio mm -hmm. and live stream events, because, mm -hmm. you know, Peloton, they really uh, locked down that market in a sense, you know, when you pedal yep. on the bike, you can participate with somebody in New York or another part of the world. It really gets people enthusiastic about they're just, just riding by themselves. They're actually competing and being motivated by other people. Then they have this new uh, thing called the mirror where, you know, yes, you can be in front of correct. a mirror and working out with somebody simultaneously. Because I think mm -hmm. so I want to make sure that that's, this is something you're, sim you're doing right now in studio out of your New York studio that's on Mulberry Street, these live stream and in-studio mm -hmm. events, correct? Talk about that in more detail because yeah. I want people to understand that they can go there and be engaged physically or online. They can be, can be engaged yes. as well. For sure. So what we do is um, we, we work with uh, uh, many different influencers and, um, and not just influencers, people, people who have – connected in some way to the mind-body-soul connection. And uh, we have events in our studio where um, they share their stories, they share their highs, they share their lows, and, and we really get to the bottom of what motivates them to stay well and healthy. 
and we live stream those events as well as the the workouts. And we do different we do different kind of interactive workouts, which gets really fun. Um, different ways for people to explore their body as well as do the actual workout. Right. And so if you sign up for if you go to uh, my Instagram Robert Brace and you hit the link in the bio and you're part of um, uh, and we send you 28 days of the workouts and the meditations, you will all also get notified of when we're having these events. So you mm-hmm. can show okay. up to the studio or you can live stream them and get there's so much wisdom out there. You know, I think if we uh, connect with other people who, who are on their own wellness, mind, body, soul journey and learn from their wisdom, we, it elevates all of us. And so they can connect with that um, from just signing up uh, through the website there or just checking my Instagram because we're always announcing something. Right, right. Uh, uh, always, uh, My show is Money Making Conversation. I always like for mm-hmm. my guests to provide some information or some tidbit or some opportunity to show that, you know, we always see the end results, but there always there is always a journey to get to the end because when you get to the end, you're still moving forward. Now, Absolutely. And, and people approach me about starting their business or businesses type like this. What what advice would you give them and to move forward with a business plan to make sure that these these things are in place? And I think first and foremost, um, well, I guess it's a few different things. You're, you're asking about you know, what we should think about when starting a business or when starting a fitness business. Well, just understanding the principles of starting this type of business, uh, some of the challenges you went through. Like you said, you went uh, with some previous partners, and now you're by yourself. Yes. So, you know, I, I, well, those are different conversations. Yeah, I think that you have to trust um, your talents and your interests. And, and, and that sounds very basic. But what I mean is this. I, I came... Um, I. St- I came out of the ministry and I came back to, um, I did a bunch of different things, but came back to training. I was training for other people. I had my own clients and I would bounce around the city, uh, training, training people in different locations. And, um, you know, I used to have the mindset of, man, uh, you've done too many things. You were a dancer and then you were a minister. And then I tried this entrepreneurial thing that didn't work out. And, you know, I was going through a period in my life where I was like, what are you doing? You're right. doing all <laughs> these different things. How do they fit together? Yes. And um, the more that people, people started to connect with me um, for the different stages of my journey, people started to connect with me because they, they were um, attracted to the ballet background. Other people started to connect with me because, oh, here's somebody who understands the spiritual background. And then entrepreneurs uh, started connecting with me because, you know, I'd, I'd had a business and uh, even though it didn't work out the first one, um, I understood their struggle. And so then as I progressed, I started to see, I just need to be me. Yes. All of the things that I've been through um, are what make me and what make my brand. And, you know, the needs that I see, I see the need um, for all people. Uh, I don't want to say our gym is just for black women. We train everybody. Right. Um, and, um, but, you know, the specific journey I've had, I was uh, raised by a single, single mother and, um, you know, uh, she fought to give me the very best. She, um, she was an immigrant from Africa who moved to England. She had dyslexia, so she was written off. She um, started to make dresses for a living. She only made 50 cents a dress, and on that salary, she decided to put me through private school. And, um, you know, I saw her work so much and not have the time to work on her own wellness until much later in life. Wow. And so even that experience of seeing my mother now enjoying wellness and the, the few times she, she stopped to, to play with us outside, how, how much joy she had, you know, the, all of those things are my life and are real to me. And so that is what I use as the basic inspiration for my business. Now, beyond that, um, then I, you just have to learn is just because you have the inspiration and you have a certain talent. What I learned very quickly is you need to learn, uh, essential business principles. And, um, I, uh, I spent money on Absolutely. consultants. I spent money on courses. I spent money on books to try and learn from the best people. And sometimes, you know, you're spending this money and you're thinking, I'm not seeing an immediate, you know, ROI. I'm not seeing an immediate return on my investment, but, over the years, you know, those things come together and it's about having the discipline to put the basic business principles into practice and, and watch your business grow from there. Cause 
you know, one thing I'm a firm believer in is just because you have a talent and an experience does not necessarily make you an entrepreneur. What makes you an entrepreneur is learning those business principles that you put into practice, um, you know, in the Absolutely. beginning, middle, right. and end of your journey. Exactly. Um, so so it's, that's, um, I guess that's my philosophy on that. That's, that's, that's an awesome journey. philosophy, and that's all I needed to hear. And that's all my listeners needed to hear because you're a success. I'm talking to Robert Brace. He is the mind, body, soul connector of New York City, world-renowned celebrity fitness trainer. His studio Brace Life Studio, located in Little Italy at 132 Mulberry Street, uh, Unit 2E. Now, tell us again how they can register for classes so we can get out of here. They can register for classes. Go to the website, bracelifestudios.com. That is brace, B-R-A-C-E, lifestudios.com. Uh, go to my Instagram, at Robert Brace, um, and sign up there as well for the free content. You can also get the free content on the Resolutions page of my website. And uh, just join us, whether it's online, whether it's in person. Uh, you're definitely going to go on a journey, mind, body, and soul. So we, we welcome everybody. I appreciate you, Robert. Get those banners up to me so I can support it on my social media. Again, another great interview. I appreciate you taking your time to be, on my, to be on my show. If you want to hear more great interviews, just go to moneymakingconversation.com. Rashawn McDonald, I'm your host. Keep listening.